Hi. <laughs> hey guys, um, welcome to IG Live, and I'm sorry that we're late. Um, it's Matt and Derek's fault. Absolutely. It's Byron's fault. Byron's in South Africa <laughs> messing with the system. Um, anyway, so we are um, excited to be here, as always. And today's conversation is going to be around holiday dressing. And of course, like any conversation that we have, it's going to go much deeper than the concept of, you know, what's the party, what's the dress code, am I excited about what I have? It's never party. just surface level. It's not. And so what we find is that when you guys write to me and you're having questions about what to wear, I mean, that makes sense because literally you can go on to any website right now and it's like 5,000 new I mean, literally, sure. like, what do I wear to X party? You're, you're going to have a million. Wild. Exactly. So um, what we're going to talk about is the deeper meaning of it all. And so what you are really asking is, what can I wear to any holiday event where I want to show up and feel like myself, but also feel wholly appropriate in the environment that I'm in, that you're going to be at ease in the moment that you're in? So what we're going to do today is we're going to do a lot of different team members on the show, and they're going to talk about some of their different holiday traditions. Stella, what did you guys say you do? You cook a squirrel. Hi. <laughs> down, down. down. <laughs> and then we, I can't even say that we did the squirrel. Eat chocolate? A little barbecue sauce. Yeah. She doesn't do that. No, we don't do that. <laughs> we order Chinese food. It's delicious. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Chef's kiss on the where, where are you from? Like what is that? Like pandas or whatever? Like okay, panda so stuck on panda express's name. It's good. Or okay, chicken. you heard it here. It's you heard it here. We did. We're not endorsing that. Anyway, I mean, no offense to it. I'm just saying. Okay, moving on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the different traditions that we have, how we dress, and and why we're wearing what we're wearing, and why it fits in with who we are, which is our vibe, chill, modern, and classic always, mm -hmm. with the knowledge that each one of us has different modifiers. Yeah. But quick discussion on modifiers. Sure. This is what I was having with Daphne in my office and why we are late is because Daphne from Atlanta is here also and she's gonna- She's gonna be on the show. Everyone's coming to the show. stage today. But one of the things is, well Daphne, is still like trying to find her modifier. Yeah, I mean, it's not something that you're gonna be like, oh, that's exactly, people in our office, like Tibby people still. Are don't curious have about them. what their modifier is. And one of the things that she asked me is, can your modifier change? And to me, the answer is absolutely yes, because what, what doesn't change <coughs> when you get to my age, when you get older, is you, you realize even if you thought your adjectives changed, they really didn't. Right. That through line was always there. But the modifier does change based on a lot of things, so what you're going through as a, and I was given the example that after I'd had my second child, my modifier was edgy. Like, I, I was just You were so, the Greenwich mom, like, well, and that's holding Charlie like a football and... And Jack, the dog, but it was like, yes, living in the suburbs, yeah. having two kids, driving them to school in the SUV, I was crazy for anything that would like make me not feel like what I was perceiving to be the right. You like time. you kind of needed to find yourself. Yeah. Again. So that was that was my modifier then, and it is not now. Um, but I haven't changed as a person. It's just yeah. that my circumstances has cha have changed. So modifier might be deeply related totally. to the circumstances. So what are you wearing? Where are you going? Um, well. For those of you that don't know, but you all probably know my modifier is risk taker. Clearly. Uh, and so I am, this is what I plan to wear on the first night of Hanukkah. Um, which you, you went with the Christmas colors for the. Listen, red, <laughs> any color of red and green, I'm all for. Your Christmas I'm for, I'm for everyone. Yes. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Um, First night of Hanukkah. Um, I'm really more about traditions, yeah. I think, than like. Obviously, I think everything has a really really undertone, but for me, it's you know the memories and just making sure that legacy lives on. And so I wanted to wear something that is a little bit conservative, but still definitely in my wheelhouse, which is why I went with the um, black leather skirt from 
our winter collection. Um, this is a midi skirt on anyone who is. Is that the midi? Yeah. Okay, I have the maxi, so I'm going to put it on later okay. so people can so see this, too. So this is, I'm, I think this is the midi version. I'll check. Um, but I wanted it to be a maxi skirt, so it actually created the perfect length for me, and I'm five foot. Um, and then I am wearing it with the, oh my god, the Giselle, this is the Giselle tank, circle back, open tank. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll take the red moisturized wool. This is seeing that okay. This is like loose my body. Um, um, so I just wanted to point out the back. Um, and we definitely in, I think in production, we noticed that it was a little bit too revealing on the sides. And like if we were going to be kind of uncomfortable. We thought you guys might be too. So actually it covers like quite a bit of back. Yeah, it covers, if you if you turn this way, when you guys get this, right now you can see that it's here. When the actual production comes, it's gonna be more here. So if you, I felt like I had a little muffin, little, little muffin thing. So it just covered a little muffin. Yeah. A little muffin, I mean, everyone's got a muffin, depending on where your jeans hit. Um, and so um, this is in black, but it also comes in tan. I am wearing it with a teal turquoise pair of printed tights um, that I bought for the season. We really, I mean, as you guys can probably tell, we love bright hosiery, bright socks. New socks are launching today on the site. Um, but what I really like about this top is that it's just like a little bit of an added point of interest on the back. Um, so real quickly then, when when we talk about clothing as tools, if you're looking for something for something celebratory, mm -hmm. and you're like just needing that one extra um, mm -hmm. that green tight totally. is just like can do it. So if you've got the black skirt in your closet, if you have the black totally. sweater, then just that green tight, you like those are the purchases that you make, mm -hmm. and you're gonna wear that green tight again in two years. Like the Gucci ones that I have, I've actually yeah. worn Absolutely. so many times. Ho yeah, hosiery yeah. is really good to tone up or take down an outfit and it really is like that one key point of interest um, and then of course I have had it paired with my red moisturized wool cardigan that I wore as a belt. We have a good color thing happening. Yeah. Okay it's okay because Kayla's doing Hanukkah. Yeah well. I am. Okay so you're doing Hanukkah candles mm -hmm. with your family. With my boyfriend who's with your boyfriend. never never been yeah, so you get to teach them. Yeah. You're doing it with your family yeah. in Toronto. Yes. So tell us about your tradition and why this. Okay, so I typically celebrate Hanukkah in Toronto where it's freezing cold. So I show up to the family gathering in a really cozy warm coat. And then obviously I'll take it off when we're inside because, you know, it gets hot. Family. And I'm yeah. wearing what this um, blue. Is this it's blue, yeah. yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad we could it's agree like on It's like a perfect that. blue. Yeah. Um, this is from Resort. Um, this is the obviously the shorter length sweater. It also comes in a dress, but... I it, prefer it in the sweater on me. And then I'm wearing it with a mini skirt to keep it, you know, fun and fresh. And you also keep it, like, age-appropriate. Yeah. I mean, I'm 25. Ugh, aren't you? <laughs> And you're having a latkes. What are you putting on your latkes? I do applesauce, and if there is vegan sour cream, I'll put that on there as well. Oh, okay. And your sour cream also. Sour way. cream, no, but a little caper. Ooh, I like yeah. a little like oh. zing yeah. and hot sauce because like. Oh, that's interesting. Fun. Oh yeah. No. Okay. It's an opportunity to layer and cool. really like create your own option. All right. And so. I'm gonna do Hanukkah. Okay. We're gonna light candles, and that's what we do. Like, we get to teach the cousins and my sister and everyone about. Oh my Hanukkah. god, that's so fun. Yeah, they like the cousins love it. So it's we got everything celebrated here. And so this is my mom outfit for Hanukkah because I can just sit around on the couch and relax. I'm gonna show you the. Um, this is the sweatshirt with the shoulder pads. Now, first of all, I want to tell you I do have the shoulders of a three-year-old. A very narrow shoulders for some reason. Um, so sometimes this is a good thing, it's whatever. I'm just letting you know that. 
but someone asked me if you can take the shoulder pads out and they actually don't slip in and out, but I did snip them out here so that you could see what it looks like if you buy it and you choose to take them out. The thing is, if you buy it and you choose to snip them out, you can always pin them back in when you want. But if you were to take it out, it just looks like a little deflated, right? So this is with the padding still in, and this is with it out. Which is I like so it. I it, it is. Um, I like it both ways. It really yeah. just depends on the environment, which is something we talk about all yeah. the time, like being appropriate for the environment you're going to be in. Obviously, you're going to be down south casual but with also family. celebratory with family and so when i was talking about like that ultimate teflon mm -hmm. when people like you know i mean everyone's got the friend that feels the need to give the opinion oh yeah and of course when you really can take the opinion for what it is mm -hmm. either something nonsensical or like they just don't know better but when you can really take it in the right way is when you are so sure of why you made the choices totally. that you made and so for me, yes, the pant is silk and we're inside, but it is so comfortable yeah. and easy. And yes, this shirt has lots of structure, but it's a sweatshirt at the end of the day. And so this is when we talk about like those low key tops. Mm -hmm. The low key tops take everything down a notch. When it's made out of sweatshirt material, when it's got the higher neckline, it's just like perfectly low key, but then I'm actually gonna put an earring on with it. And I just wanna point out like these pack really easily yes. like I obviously we're very organized when it comes to packing and you know find, right. finding fun, but multifunctional yeah. uses out of single pieces but you also need the pieces that you can just take out of the suitcase yeah. and not worry about wrinkling not worry about you know where you're gonna wear it you know that these pants are, you're gonna wear exactly. like they're they're a fundamental part of your yeah. travel wardrobe okay well let's bring on these guys yeah. and then I'm gonna on that skirt okay. so people can see. Okay, so we're gonna bring out Katara. Where are you going? Sure. Oh, I'm going to a gala this weekend. So I'm going yes, to a so gala. Nice. Yeah, gala. Okay, so I'm gonna let you talk while I go so change. Okay. Hi guys, good to see you since last week. So I have an event to go to this week. I, secret is kept, it's black tie, but I actually don't have any black tie dresses to wear. So I thought I could kind of go as myself and wear the Alexis beaded blazer, which you will see pictures of later. And then I actually have it on with the Celia Drake jogger. You guys see me wearing the wool jogger often. That's my vibe. Um, mostly because it's just chill and it goes with everything. I like that this looks, the sheen of it gives a, a fancy, I guess, feeling. And then, yeah, I still look like myself. I added a little pop of color here with the earring. So I have one earring here and I have one here. And that's really it. And then I have on the stage beaded top. So I wouldn't wear this to dinner, but I don't have a lot of events to go to. I'll probably pair this back to jeans if I go somewhere more casual, and I'll also pair it back to a dress. So that's what I got going on. We also have Teresa here. She has on the same pant as I do, but it's a different vibe, so. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I have the same joggers, but this is my exact outfit that went for my Christmas tree hunting, and I do that every year. Probably every yeah. year. It's kind of low well right now. I live in New York City. You were like this. So I was like here, but every okay. year it's growing and growing. So it's just, a, that's exactly Yeah, okay, the star is probably going to be like that. Yes, yes. So, so what do you have it back to? So I'm wearing my cozy fleece. Um, we have this full zip up and it has it. But I literally wear this every day. Um, this is true. And these are really good because I have like big pockets. I literally have my whole life in there. Um, it was very versatile during my Christmas hunting as well. Inside. He's gonna try this on for her also to yeah. show you how it changes the vibe of my fit. Um, size wise, I wear a size small. Um, I could do extra small, but I do like no the fit oversized fit on me. Like right. could layer so. size sweaters. I have more options that way. And um, today I'm coming back to Equal SSA shirt. Um, and I wore this Celia Dre because it kind of acts like a shield, a little bit of windbreaker, a little bit of like dust-free situation for what I'm doing. Um, and I wore my tunnel neck so that it can still feel warm while I'm out there hunting for my tree. And this is my uh, new, this is our new beanie, cashmere beanie. I think it comes in three different colors. It's really cute. Yes. Yeah. It comes in yellow. 
What size is the jacket? Size small. Yeah. So I actually have this in a large, um, and this is a size small because I always get in the waist beads. So this kind of totally changed the vibe of this outfit for me. It feels chill. I'm actually going to New Hampshire, um, and we were going to talk about that a little bit later, but I'm going to New Hampshire for Christmas. So this is something that I would wear, kind of taking me from chill around the house in the snow, and then I actually have a little party going on with my stock and sandal. So, yeah. So, a lot of you guys started following me. I wanted to say thank you while I'm waiting for Amy and just talk to you about holidays. Um, yes, but at Keturah.tibby. Yes. K E T U R A H dot Tibby. Yep. Fitmaster. Yay. And more. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about what I'm wearing on um, Christmas. Well, one of the nights that we do for Christmas, which is really fun, it's becoming a new tradition, is this amazing Italian couple moved to St. Simon's, and they come and they cook dinner for the family. So this is what I'm gonna wear. It's one where it's the outfit where I've made a pact with my sister that we won't get dressed up. But Leslie, damn it, you're gonna get a little dress this season. Um, so this is what I'm wearing. And these are the leather trouser pants. But what I'm gonna bring out is Lauren. And Lauren is one of our technical designers. Hi. He has a brand new baby. Five really cool, old. five months old. Um, and what Lauren's gonna do is, so Lauren, what I wanna do is I'm gonna shorten these. And so you know I don't normally short things, I use rubber bands, all that stuff. But these are leather, so I'm gonna go ahead and commit to a length. And I feel best in this white pant with this length. Sure. So I'm 5'4", these are the size, I'm 5'5" by four and a half. And um, these are the size four. So can you help me get to the length that, well, before we do that, mm -hmm. let's show people what, this is what the inside of the hemline looks like on the leather pants. So this is, how is this done, Laura? Um, it's just, it's glued actually. Mm -hmm. So to get, to get the clean finish, clean finish on the outside there's no stitch line yeah you can't really blind stitch leather um, because the there's no layers to it mm -hmm. to catch so they just glue it basically which is how a lot of seams are done on, on leather and so given that like if i were to go get these hemmed in the outer world not having to be behind yeah. me like where would i go to get this hemmed um you would want to go to a tailor who has experience handling leather garments. Mm -hmm. um, would a shoe guy be able to do it? Like, you know, I, I wouldn't take it to a shoe guy. Uh -huh. I mean, you, you could ask. I guess you could ask. Yeah. Um, you but if he goes like this, uh, okay, then yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. If he like, yeah, if they aren't sure, but they're like, you yeah. know, go ahead and give yeah. them to me. You yeah. probably want Not to walk at this away. Price. Yeah. Okay, walk away. But find someone who can do leather. Yeah. Finishing. If you, like most tailors will tell you right up front if they have the equipment and the capability to handle leather. Yeah. So it should be easy to determine right away. So just the regular dry cleaner tailor is like, I wouldn't I yeah. wouldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Unless it's like Jeeves dry cleaning yeah. in Manhattan or whatever. Okay, so five five, how much are you, do you want to take off if I were in the fitting, what would you do? Well, you know it our fit model is 5'9", but, uh -huh. you know, because people's torsos and everything vary in length, you still, there's not really a clear-cut formula, yep. but we we fit these pants to sort of hit right about here in the middle of the foot, uh -huh. and so based on that, you can start with that in the front. So is that like three inches there, four inches? Yeah, this is looking... This is looking about three and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. And so, I'm going to pin that, or not pin it, but using a binder clip because yeah. any holes in leather are permanent, so you definitely don't want to stick pins on it. So guys, even too, if you've ordered this pant at home and you're trying it on in your closet and you want to get a feel of how it's going to look when it's shorter, if you use a binder clip, that'll help keep it up and, um, give you a better sense because sometimes when you're trying to try things on and it's too long it gets a little overwhelming and then you get frustrated but it's worth the the wait on this yeah so start with one side and then make sure you get the other side the same mm -hmm. um, 
and then from there you can see, okay, is it, is it, you know, are you going to be stepping on it? Is yep. it still cooling the same way we want it to, but not too long? Um, so, and, then, and this one when we have it, it's just going to be a straight hem. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah it would always be straight. Okay. So you want to make sure that you do the front and back the same length. Okay, this feels good. Yeah, and I, I always recommend airing on the longer side. Yes. Because, I mean, even when my friends ask me to do the pants, I always do it like a little, a little longer, longer than, than what they think. You're a good yeah. friend. Yes. You know. I mean, pants. I mean, you know. I mean, like, I know, but. Um, all right. Cool, so, thank you. Okay. All right, appreciate it. Thank thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, so there you have it. Um, what we are going to get really good at is Katura and I are working on a really clear way for you guys to see, like, if you're 5'4 and you want your pants to hit here, here's how much you want to take off, etc. It's coming. Um, we want to make sure it's right when we get it to you. Um, and then this is the Airy Fine sweater, and we love this sweater. Um, yeah, it's got the cool shape. Never basic, but basic, right? Okay. Um, can I have the velvet suits here? The suit double trouble. <laughs> These are the velvet, come out. So we have Carolina and Daphne here. I'm just gonna let you guys talk. <laughs> All right, talk away, talk amongst yourself. This is my first live live, so I'm not sure. <laughs> oh yeah, you were taped. Yes, I was taped before. Well, my event, sort of the most important event for Christmas for us, it's Christmas Eve in Poland. It is a marathon. We started five. My family is very traditional, which means that there's no alcohol, no desserts, and no meat, which means that we have to wait until midnight, then I run to the kitchen to eat cake. So it does go for a long time, and I have to be very comfortable, and it has to be big, so I can hide everything that is happening. And with the shoe, I mean, for me, within half an hour, shoes will be off. So I'm usually wearing something comfortable, and a sock that doesn't really like mess up my outfit when I take off my shoes, so I'm not wearing like stripy socks of turtles, which are my favorite socks actually. Um, so yeah, that's sort of how I would dress for, for Christmas. Yeah, um, for me, I also picked the, the velvet suit because it's super comfortable, it feels like you're wearing pajamas, and I'm usually cooking in the kitchen, so um, we, do Christmas Eve, uh, big dinner at home, and then go to church that day or the next day, the Christmas day. And yeah, this is exactly what I would pick to wear. It is something that my grandma would be very happy with, but I don't have to look very conservative. Yeah, I love the pop of red here and your, the silver I like socks. shiny. Yeah. I like shiny. I like shiny. I like shiny. <laughs> okay. Sarah, how can I help us? <laughs> we are rookies. <laughs> They're rookies. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we're really the children. They're not too bad for me. Um, honestly, this is the time of the life where I'm like, where are they? Again, the outfit that, like, if my sister was like, Amy, <coughs> we said no dressing up, I'd be like, I Amy, so much when Leslie said yesterday, when Amy, you better not dress up. We're not dressing up. <laughs> but Leslie, what I'm telling you is, whatever you're in, I promise, I'm going to be much more comfortable than you. And she guess what? You're my sister. You get this, you get a good deal on this. So. She looked pretty comfortable in that suede. I know she was wearing the suede. Yesterday. She's so you can wear a sleep then it's like pajama set pretty oh, much. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yes, that is like a pajama set. Yeah. Like Which is stupid, choicey, choice and comfortable. Yeah. Also, you don't have to think about it because it just matches. You don't have to sit there thinking what top goes with what bottom. Exactly. Yeah, no, I love so, it yeah. too. All right, cool guys. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Where are you going, Nancy Camps?
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So we were talking a lot about what we're going to do for the holidays. Yeah, I came up with my ton, one ton or none. I'll be going to New Hampshire, and while we're cooking, I wear an apron when we cook. I think that's a pretty nice little Sally Homemaker vibe. Um, I'll probably wear these sweats because around the house they're pretty chill, and I really like the vibe of being like myself, but also, I don't know, a colorful version. So this is my version of Christmas red. It's a very orangey red for me, which is my most favorite. Still have on my earring, but I can cook gumbo and listen to Motown Christmas tunes and do all the things. I'm so jealous you have. This is actually what we do. Like, this is not me, like, no, saying it. This is we the vibe. We were talking about this yesterday, and I was just like, this sounds like the most No, fun. yeah, so there's gumbo to be made, which takes a long time. You got to get it right. I'm not in charge of that, even though I have. Okay, so who's in charge of the gumbo? So my in-laws. So my okay. mother-in-laws. I'm in charge of cutting the onions. <laughs> Big responsibility. No, 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 but I do Her help, but there. I think she's the queen of gumbo. So I will show up, and I'll put on an apron and pretend like, I am the queen of gumbo, but I'm really just you the princess. And you're basically yeah. Yeah. And so I have this around, like, this actually comes in. This is the mercerized, um, skin like mercerized mm -hmm. wool sweater. This is the cardigan. And there's a shell that has shoulder pads. I brought this option because I wanted you guys to know that you can actually take this, which is the, the cardi, and just do a little easy drape. And it looks, you know, pretty pulled together. I put this over it, my jacket over it and use this as a scarf, which we did before. I think what we love about this material is it kind of gives you a bit of, not sheerness, but if you're looking for it, it can give you sheerness, but when you layer it, it, so gives, people were asking it gives you texture, and then it's also sort of not too thick, where you can wrap it as a scarf, you can make it that extra shawl piece, it can be kind of like your everything and anything in between. Yeah. It's yeah. a fun color. Yes, it's a super fun color. And I wear this also back to the wool jogger. So yeah. this is actually the wide leg jogger. I have it snapped on the third snap in the back because we really want to talk about that good puddle. How tall um, are you? How tall? I am five. I say five eight, but I feel like I'm like five seven and a half. Well, give yourself the half. Yeah, I'm five give eight. Give yourself the half. I'm five eight. I mean, my hair makes me a little like five eight, so I'm five eight. Yeah. Um, so I have it again. snapped, and I still have the good puddle in the back. I have them on because I'm I'm cooking around the house, so I'm gonna wear them with the friends. I think so too, actually. Yeah. Really I'm super comfortable. I feel like I have on a, like a cozy sweater yeah. and sweatshirt. And, like, and that's what you want. Especially when you're like cooking with family. You don't want to feel like you're like in some stiff outfit that you can't right. move around. Right. Do this and pretend and splash some water on my face. And, yeah. You know. Also, like, no one would trust you to cut that because if you shut up, it fall down. That's true. They might not trust me in this either, but I still want to feel like myself. But at least you feel good. Yeah, I do feel good. So. Yeah, you look bad. And then I double stuff back. So when I, I like to get a lot of wear out of my clothes. So this I'll double back to probably not really the Stella, but um, the jogger. <laughs> Again, yeah. I'm like, that's my, my main word that I always talk about. Yeah. I've read the jogger a million times. Yeah. Like Which I had on earlier, the Celia Drape. Oh, love that one. I Maybe have. I should wear this to the gala, this, again, oh, this color. Yeah. Instead. Just to get she a has a gala to go to. Yeah. And now we're just talking about her outfits. You guys can watch the process of how we. We select do. this Selecting outfit. Selecting an outfit. Yes, you can help me select outfits for this weekend. Oh my god, yeah. Go to your page and you should do a poll. Yeah, see I'll do a poll. Say. See what you guys think I should wear. I'll give you the parameters. Mm -hmm. And then we can like... It's what? There's a theme? Yeah, there's a theme. It's a cap of all. Their colors are, are actually... Let's, I don't want to see it wrong. It's like a crimson and white. But um, yeah. I could do a white you know, featherweight skirt, which I actually love. Maybe I'll try that on with this. That would be fun. Okay. It's mm -hmm. also festive too. Yes. Be right back. We'll I'm going to try it. Okay. Yeah, tell them about that. Amazing. Well, I will be wearing this. I know it seems like a lot, but in reality, I'm wearing like a nice furry slide, and there are pockets on this dress and really cozy sleeves, so I feel very comfortable and very much myself. I'm going to wear this to a Christmas Eve sort of like, not dinner party, but like drinks and nibbles thing with about like six families from my dad's area. Um, and we're basically just all kind of getting together. It's the kind of time where everyone really like, you know, likes to dress up and sort of like feel very festive and Christmassy. It's sort of the big party um, before, you know, the coziness with family of the day of Christmas. So I am wearing a four ply silk um, squiggle dress with the detachable and removable little shrug detail, which has the amazing slits at the elbows that our um, acetone shirting has, but I'm wearing it with my Yes. Wearing it with the dress just because I will be in Connecticut and it will be cold and there's always air conditioning for some reason, even though you're inside. So, okay, but so cold. cold. 
What I want to show people is one of the biggest questions is what do I wear as my coat? Yeah. Because you're not wanting to show up in like your day work coat, you know, something like it's kind of woolly and nubby. Mm -hmm. You're not wearing a sport coat. You're not wearing a fur. No. Nope. Um, so what is the coat that works? And this is where to me, like the black trench is, oh, can you zip me up back there? Yeah. But the black trench is literally everything because what happens with a trench is it has a little bit of shine. Yeah. And of course, like a satin trench is nice, but if you're talking about like the slow buildup, the trench functions like a satin trench. It's also your waterproof evening wear. Yeah. But to me, this is like so chic and elegant. Yeah. Like this is what you wear as your overcoat. And what's key too when you're wearing the overcoat for an evening like this is I think the length is really important. Because yeah. when people show up in this length coat, it does... You know, that's just always bothered me, but I couldn't put a word to it, but you're right. If you show up with a dress that's more length and a coat that's here, it just doesn't, it doesn't you don't any. feel as like, it's something about it doesn't feel as effortless as you want it to. And so this is like Seamless. just pure effortless. But yeah. this is what, if you were walking to the grocery store in the rain, it's what you're wearing, you're wearing it to work, but you're also wearing it to a fabulous black tie. Exactly. That's pretty much your, your wolf of coat. It's a wolf of coat. There you go. <laughs> As opposed to the wolf of Wall Street. Um, <laughs> we should do a pun on that. I know. That would really make people happy. Um, okay. So, Daph, let's bring you out. Now we are, uh, for me, this is actually Christmas Eve at my house. So I've got the nod to the green, and I'm going to wear this as my sister is like, at home furiously like typing we agreed leslie this is chill okay um but anyway so this is my christmas eve outfit. Okay, i feel very yeah, relaxed yes. i'm wearing the low brand koozie here the mint sock which the socks are coming back this week yay italy um and then the little furry oscar the grinch grouch i merged the grinch but it, actually, it's more Grinch, Grinch green, because it's Christmas. Um, and then the pearl jacket here, which is like just enough interest for the holidays. And then you, yeah, I love this. Yeah, um, it's my Christmas day outfit. Like I'm at home, but I'm wearing jeans. But then the details in the top makes it super special. Daphne, would you come up a little bit closer so people can? So guys, this top is, it's a mixture of cotton poplin and the satin. So when we talk about hedging your bets, this is one of those tops that it's super chill, it's cotton, but then like it's fancy. Yeah, it is. Cause you got satin going on. And then these are the gray black Elfies, which what I love about the gray black Elfies is they're a little less aggressive than like a true black, black. denim. Yeah. You know? It's a little bit softer and yeah. I, I love it. Yeah, it looks great with the red shoes. And the red shoe. And, and then that's the tuxedo Liam. And so you're wearing this on Christmas Eve. You would have worn it over the dress that sure. Bryn had on. And I'm not angry if I saw you going to workout class. Oh, no, no, like, no, 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 no. you know, just, you're going to wear it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Just do that. Yeah. But that's it's, got the satin lapels. Yeah, has the satin lapels, but it's also super easy to wear anywhere. Yeah. I, I love it, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> um, and then I just want to show you, I don't, what's the name of my top? Do you remember? Crinkle. Crinkly something. It comes in a creamy something color also. This is the black. Um, what I love about this top is, again, Matt those. Matt Crinkle long sleeves wear top. Matte crinkle long sleeve exactly. square top. So you saw those shoulders that Daphne had in the satin. This actually has the same shoulder, but it's in a completely relaxed fabric. So it's giving a different vibe. And then I have the sleeves rolled up a little bit. And what I love about this top is, this to me is one of those valves where it can really take anything down a notch or it could take something up a notch. So for me, even though I am just wearing the Brancusi denim, this is a regular denim uh, in the longer mm -hmm. length, but even though I'm just wearing the Brancusi, this top really elevates things. It's not like wearing just a plain t-shirt. It really elevates the whole look. But if I was wearing a big like, uh, 
if I was wearing, for instance, the satin pant here, then this top would kind of take things down a notch. It would make the pant like not so over the top, literally. So this is a valve. It can turn something up or down depending on what you're pairing it with. What are you wearing? I'm not looking for the satin short. I feel like I should have the satin short. Oh, the satin short. Why don't you come out in this, and then we'll find that satin short for you. Because I agree. And then, um, and then we'll do a so little So I'm also grief. wearing the Liam tuxedo blazer. Um, as you can see, the lapels are satin. I've also rolled my sleeve up. Um, the cuff area is also lined with satin so even though this is a more casual look because I rolled the sleeves up and um, the satin still makes it super elevated um I am wearing mine as more of like a dress sort of but um, I'm wearing it over the pleated mini skirt and the same top I was wearing before so I could wear it open but I actually really like it closed and um, I like the illusion that it's kind of a dress. Um, I'm wearing the same teal tights that I was wearing before because if you buy something, you should wear it and wear it a lot. And so I am definitely wearing these throughout the season and a burgundy shoe. The earrings are Amy's. Um, I like that they add a little bit of sparkle. I'm probably wearing this honestly to any holiday event and I will take off the earrings oh and there are the satin shorts and I'll take off the earrings and put on a loafer and wear it to the office as well um I'm gonna actually try it on with the satin shorts just to, to show you guys what like the matching set would look like so I'm gonna swap out with Brittany hi everyone um so I am wearing the boiled wool set in cream. Um, this is a size 14 and this is sample. Um, I'm not wearing anything, I'm not wearing a top right now, I'm wearing this more as a shirt. Um, and I'm staying local in New York for the holidays. So this to me is cozy, comfy. Um, I can kind of just hang out, go to a dinner, um, see friends who are still um, in town and yeah i think this is really nice i'd probably pair it with like a colored tight if i wanted to um add a little something extra to it uh, or wear my barons um right now i'm wearing the kitten heel uh but can easily throw like a boot or something else with it um and i'll invite Katora back on, hey. um, who was also wearing this earlier. Yeah, this is um, one of my favorite things. Yeah, and it also comes in navy, which is really nice. Can you show the back? Yes. Yeah, so it has a great, de uh, you know this detail well, and this puddle, this like um, cocoon shape that's in the back, it really sits really nice. It fits me, I'm a little bit taller than her, but it fits me around the same spot right under my booty. Uh -huh. right <laughs> yeah, and I'm cozy, cute, and feel really comfortable for the mm -hmm. holidays. We're going to dinner together, right? We should, have to, we should get their <laughs> yeah. um, So this is the blazer that I had on earlier, and I was wearing it back to the Celia Drake jogger. I had on a different shoe with this. I actually had on a black, like the flat um, Rudolph, yeah, Randolph shoe, sorry. And I felt a little too like business lady. So I know that like this might be like Okay, now you look like business lady Tootsie run, running around with like sneakers on, but this is more my vibe, it's so chill. And so I can show up, I have that little pop of color. This is the red that works for me, a burgundy red for me, makes me feel a little dated. So this orange red is like chef's kiss. And then I'm really getting the maximum amount of wear out of my wardrobe wearing this with a skirt, back to a top, also wearing it with a pant. Um, and I know Amy, sorry for the little shimmer. So earlier she showed you guys she was wearing it over her shoulders which I think is still always a vibe. So if I'm somewhere, should this be my, my gala outfit? I don't know, guys. We might have come up with something. This is the featherweight. This is not the maxi length. This is the midi length on me, an extra large. The Mercerized is also in a large. I see a little pitch there. And this is, again, I think we talked about this earlier. It's not too sheer. Like, you can't see my bra or anything like that. And it's so, 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 so comfortable. And there's like a slight drape. The neck is a little bit higher, so it's almost like a mock. Um, yeah, this is, I think I'm ready. We still have to do this poll, but I'm into it. 
So I want to tell you guys what my plans are. We talked about me making gumbo. We talked about me going to a gala. I'm trying to think of what other things I could use. I would probably wear this blazer also because I don't have any New Year's plans, but I feel like I still want to feel New Year's Eve. So if I see people maybe for drinks, this would be my go-to. Like if I show up to multiple places with this, it's going to get the maximum amount of wear and cost per wear for this jacket for me. Um, so yeah, that's where we are. Showing you a little bit of skin. And again, this comes in the shell that has the shoulder pads on it. And it, the same color is also in the cardigan. Uh-huh, it's so good. So good. Yeah. See through this. Not, not a, not a single yeah. peep. So I, I showed them my hand under it. I did the hand test, I did the, the yeah. boot test. Yeah. So I think too, like also, if it is see through on you, like red bras, amazing with it. Mm -hmm. Go with the friction, like a weird green bra that, I don't know if uh, Brittany showed her bra at all her, today. She did not, but it's a beautiful shade of lilac, yeah. which we will not shout out the place that always gives us the good bra bras. The good bras. And a nude, I mean, if you can find, like I wear a good brown nude for me, but yeah. whatever you do. So good. Cool. See you in a bit. All right. Um, okay, so another outfit here. Again, just feeling really comfortable, no matter the dress code, like, if I was going over to a friend's house for cocktails, and if they were like, you just be fabulous you, it's like the dress code, which you know who you are, who does that. Um, that's kind of ambiguous. So really then take it to heart and just do what you feel really good in. So I'm wearing the Celia Drake shorts here. And what I love about them is um, they definitely have a dressy vibe, but they also look a little bit like leather. So it's like dressy, but not overly so. And then I'm wearing them with our sweatshirt. Um, here, I've got the sweatshirt pulled up, like kind of tucked under, which it stays because the band is smaller than the uh, width here. So it stays when you just roll it under. I'm wearing the size small. You can take your arms out completely if you want, and that just gives you like another like element of interest when you're wearing it um, and then if I wanted to I could pull the sweatshirt all the way down sorry this is the you know I don't mind this showing too every now and then so I'm okay with that um, if I pulled this all the way down it's kind of interesting too I like that I would do that um, and then I'm just wearing the fishnet tights here and the hose and I think the holy grail for me is I just quick example is I was with um Maybe wore tights and shorts, so I want to wear tights. <laughs> but I was with my husband this weekend and it was such a literal moment where we were on the Upper East Side. We started at the Mark Hotel, it's his birthday for breakfast, and we were going to a Broadway play. And so on the Upper East Side, 78th and Madison, you're literally in the land of Cuccinelli and the Hermes, land of right? And I'm wearing a Jenny Watanabe sweatshirt dress, Sheet. our boots, the brown leather jacket, and our big navy cashmere scarf. And in that environment with everyone wearing their Hermes and Cuccinelli and everything, I fit in. Yeah. It did not blend in, but it definitely fit in. But fit and blend are two very different things. Different things. But the thing is, is then we started walking. So then when we got to the 60s, we were in the land of um, a lot of tourists and a lot of logos. Mm -hmm. a lot of like big Gucci logos, off-white logos and everything. And again, I fit in without blending in. Right. And then by the time we got to Broadway, of course, that was a fucking shit show where, you know, everyone's like, yay, pajamas at a Broadway play. But again, like I was in a sweatshirt dress, right. but everything was still refined and put together. So I think it is so nice when you can go literally visually like yeah. I did yeah. in a 30 block span and hit so many different looks of clothing and totally. outfitting and yet in every single one you did not look like you had dropped in from Mars right. um, you felt good and you felt like yourself totally. and never less than on the upper east mm -hmm. side and then I, I, I mean, mean like fucking, I swear like whatever I that's what like superior but it's it felt good that's the point I like this this is you. This is you. Um, okay, so it's the green tights because I'm not taking them off. Um, I'm wearing the satin short, um, and I decided to put on this oversized black alpaca wool semi-animal um, 
sweater. I like to have the shorts just peeking out a little bit um, because I'm short. Um, this is the regular length sweater, so it kind of gives the dress vibe on me. So I like that versatility. Um, you know, definitely gonna get my hands dirty cooking or like helping in the kitchen, I'll give you that. And so this is definitely easy to roll up. This is also a sweater that I'm gonna take on the plane with me and kind of wrap around my neck as a scarf, put on over my head when I wanna sleep. Um, and again, I'm really all about, if you're gonna invest in accessories, you really need, I mean, just like your wardrobe, you really need to wear them. So these are the pieces, I mean, these are Amy's, not mine, but um, these tights, that belt, these shoes from Tibby are definitely pieces that I will be wearing throughout the season. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Bren, who can talk about her what else but winter life. I don't know if it shocks people anymore. It doesn't. I don't, they know it's coming. I think they know. It's expected. They're looking forward to it. If there was an episode where I didn't wear winter white, I hope you would all be a little, a little bummed. Um, I'm wearing the compact stretch cashmere sh dress. That is the winter one, and oh my god, it's so cozy, it's so soft. Um, it's definitely on, like, not thicker side, but it's gonna keep you warm, and it's so cozy. This is what I'm gonna be wearing with, like, any in between moment of, like, not needing to be at a dinner table or, like, in a holiday party or in some sort of festive attire. Um, it feels very clean and cozy. I'll be lounging on the couch, like, opening presents, hanging with family, hanging with my little nephew um, on the floor, which I know you're thinking, why don't do that? It's fine. I'll be fine. The carpet's white. Um, but I'm also, since I'm around the house, I'm wearing a fun little sock in lieu of a shoe. Um, but when I do need to throw on a shoe to run around, obviously the bear is the most comfortable and so easy. And even in the winter, pretty functional. Um, obviously not if there's like, you know, 10 feet of snow, but that's a different story. Um, I tied around the compact cashmere crew neck shirt with this just because I liked the layer. They are not, no, they are the exact same. Yeah, they are. Exactly. I mean, one might be production like, versus yeah, schedule. yeah. But um, did someone ask that? No, I was just looking yeah. down because there were different. I was like, hmm, should I, you know, yeah. put the colors? But I was like, um, there's white and winter. The winter white. Winter we white. love winter white, and I really, um, for me, I'll wear this to death. I'll really hike up the sleeves, and wear it in the summertime with a flat sandal as well. And when I wear winter white, I love just mixing it with a. Is there a question? Matt, Matt's giving me a weird look. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt's watching a TV show on his phone. Uh, hi. Um, so, I love working the full on outfit, and this is for a party that I have Saturday night where the cocktail, uh, cocktail is the attire, cocktail festa, and um, I know that one of the women there is wearing the blue velvet crush suit, so I won't be wearing that. So, do we have we, anything more? You want to come out and be my? Uh, all right, guys. So really quick housekeeping. Um, at Katura.tibby, her Instagram is up now. Um, the second thing is next week we'll have another live. Yeah. And then we're gonna go quiet for a while because we're gonna actually go wear these clothes and do all this celebrating with our family. Um, check your emails um, on Thursday. That's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Check your emails tomorrow. We have an exciting new thing that we are doing where I am going to start pushing some deep dive content that I've been doing on Instagram. Um, we're gonna start pushing some of that to our site in a place where I can be um, a little more thoughtful and tell even more stories. But most importantly, it's gonna be information going forward that is searchable so that you guys won't be writing to me and saying, I am sure you talked about green tights in April of 1999 or whatever and like trying to find it. Um, the fourth thing, oh, the book, the oh, book, the book, the book, the book, the book. Um, it is currently being bound, so we are going to get the first two copies next week, and if you have put yourself on the wait list, um, that is great. I'm going to tell you right now, we have 3,000 books being produced, and we have about 3,050 people on the wait list. Now, this is not like an airline where it's pretty much assured that everyone's like sitting in all their seats. We know that some of you guys like just like had a drink and signed up, and, you know, well, just whatever. But, um, but it's going to be tight on this first run. 
So we're definitely going to be getting back into a second run, but this book is beautiful. It's it bound is. beautifully and um, it's worth the wait, I promise. And, um, and so we'll have a firmer idea next week, but we're gonna get the... We're excited. It's yeah. definitely, it's more than a book. It's, it's, your, it's a way of life. It is, it's a, it's, a, it's a new mindset and it's a good mindset. Um, and that's a whole nother discussion that we'll probably dive into next week. So um, DM me any questions if you have them and I will try and answer them if I like your question. If I don't, I'll just give it like a mean face. <laughs> I won't. I'll, I'll just ignore you. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I won't. I'm um, so I answer DM everyone. DM Tatura and Bryn and they will be happy now. <laughs> I'll help you too. I always do. <laughs> and that just totally. Uh, That's like 